Batman. Okay, never mind. Anyway, hey everybody, it's Seven of Dude the Fourth, and let's play some Fire Emblem. And this is me and my Dr. Pepper, and we're gonna get ready to go on Chapter 22, Living Legend. The Nabata Desert. A wasteland of scorching sun and frigid nights. It rejects human life. Any careless enough to enter its embrace is doomed to wander lost. Uther, the Marquess of Ostia, spoke of a living legend. Guided by his words, Eli Wood heads straight into the desert. But what shall they find? We'll find that out on... I did that too early. Chapter 22, Living Legend. Ooh, desert music. You guys know how I like my desert music. So hot, I'm going to die. Hey, do you want me to carry on my back? Huh? Why are you looking at me like that? Such kindness from you surprised me, Lord Hector. Is this some fever dream? What's that supposed to mean? I was concerned that you might collapse again like the other day. You're usually so brusque, it's no wonder why he's confused. Don't be shy, Nels. Let him help you out. But... Do as you're told, boy. Wah! Wah! I'm gonna fall! I'm gonna fall! I need an adult! No, wait, I am an adult. I guess Ostia said, enter the desert and move west. Someone will meet you. And yet, we've seen no one. I wonder if we need to move further in. You might be right. Here. What? This heat is taking its toll on you. If you please, take my arm. I couldn't. Oh, come now. Very well. Forgive me. Is something wrong? It's strange. What is? All of you treat my brother and me so normally. Doesn't that bother you? Our powers, our looks, we're different from people. Has that been bothering you? What's wrong with being a bit different from other people? When I look at you, I don't see other people. I see Ninja. I see a normal, kind-hearted girl. Do you speak truly? Hmm. Lord Elywood. I believe someone approaches. They shall not pass. No, I'm just kidding. They're gonna pass. Is it Lord Pence? No, it is a group sent by Uther of Ostia. Hawkeye will find them soon and bring them here. Hmm. Your companion is still searching in the desert. He's not having any luck finding what he's after, is he? No, I believe he'll find it before long. However, a group of bandits is also moving. They found Pence, and they're preparing to attack. Oh, that's... Are you concerned for his safety? No, Lord Pence can take care of himself. However, if his return here is delayed... Yes? Will you take your evening meal without us? I will wait for Lord Pence, but I'm sure you must be hungry. <laughs> Lord Athos? What is it? It's you, Louise. You are a most amusing woman. Since Pence brought you here, I have left enough for ten years. You have my gratitude. Hmm? I'm not sure I understand, but I'm pleased to have been of service. <laughs> By the way, the visitors are coming from Lycia, aren't they? I wonder what they want. Lord Arcsage, you're coloring. Are you well? Once it begins to turn, none can halt the wheel of fates. But, as long as there is hope, people continue to try. They do not know the despair that awaits. Um, who do you what? Ninian? Over there, someone is under attack. Are you sure? Ah, that must be him. Looks like a lone man and a crowd of bandits. Let's help him. I just like seeing someone face facing overwhelming odds. Hold on, Lynn, I'm going with you. Hey, you two. Where did they get all that energy? Unbelievable. What will you do? Let's go. I have to give him one's friends, right? Hello there, Pence. Oh, yeah. Look at this kindly soul, Jasmine. He's got to do some squat thrusts. We're waiting all by himself to give us his treasure. Yeah. 
Oh, oh, Paul. I do believe you're right. Such generosity, yeah. It's taken me many days to find this. I've worked too hard to hand it over to you thugs. So rude, yeah. I don't think we were going to let you live. Live and do squat for us, yeah. We're fragile creatures, so you can't trifle with our emotions, so yeah. You're a bad man. He's so bad, Jasmine. Oh, Paul, I know it. I really do. It makes me want to do squat thrusts. My heart is just breaking, yeah. What? You too, Jasmine? And you as well, Paul? Let's go. We must convince him to reconsider, yeah. I have no wish to hurt you. So now we're going to go and pick up... Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to do that accent. That's so freaking hilarious. <laughs> I can't do that accent without busting up laughing. Okay. But in all seriousness, so let's go ahead and read our fortune. What's this? A desert? And a crappy accent? You know you can only push this old woman so far with your accents. Uh, you'll be wanting an augury too, I'll wager. Will you pay the 60 gold? Yes, I shall. Yeah. Sand, sand, and more sand, as far as the eye can see. Well, thank you. Those on horseback will be slowed. You should take flyers, especially of Hecus's knights. Magic will tip the scales in your favor. Mages, monks, shamans, will stir your strength with these. I can see nothing else. But perhaps you will want to hear it again, yes? No, thank you. Ah, uh, that's all. I'll be seeing you soon enough, I'm sure. I'm pretty sure it's not the usual voice I do for Hannah. But, however, we're going to go ahead and pick our units, and we're going to go get our items taken care of, and I'm going to be right back. Merlinus became level 15. Deploy Merlinus? Indeed I shall. Actually, this is quite fascinating. Michael, the Nabata Wasteland is a bit of a paradise of magic adepts. Stories tell of many magical artifacts lost in these sands. I'll keep my eyes open, of course. I'll be fighting as well. Alright. We have lots of enemies. And the guy there, his name is Pent. Pent is a sage, and he has Elfire and Thunder. Believe me, that can be pretty powerful. I've died multiple times on this stage, trying to beat it, so I kind of know how it's going to work. But, you'll just see what I'm talking about, I won't spoil it for you guys. Um, how do I want to handle this? We got an archer, uh, a cavalier with a sword, and a bandit. I don't think I have Oswin with me. Nope, I don't have Oswin with me. So, we gotta use Heath. But, it's pretty ballsy to do because there's a swordsman over there. No, Hector. Hector. Let's go ahead and use Wolf Bale on him. Gonna grab that Wolf Bale and go WHAM! Kill that guy off in one shot. And Hector gains a level. Level up. HP, skill, defense, and resistance increase. Hector's actually pretty good. Uh, Dorcas, how do you want to handle this? Let's go ahead and attack using a Steel Axe. Do as much damage as you can do. And get away with it. Alright, now what's left here is... I'm gonna head over here and attack using a Javelin on that guy. And kill him off. Up yours, Archer. Alright, now we got Kanas over here. We're gonna have him use Flux, do double attack on that guy. And here we go. So, an interesting thing that I got for Christmas is I haven't seen one of these in years is a Pez dispenser. Like, I'm 19 years old, so I know I'm not that old to remember the good old days of Pez dispensers whenever they were vastly popular. But I still remember them back when I was a kid, and I haven't seen one of these in probably about 10 years. And so I'm like, wow, it's a Pez dispenser, and I got one for Christmas. I think I used to have one with Darth Vader on it, but it's still pretty cool. It's a snowman one. It's pretty interesting there. I didn't get very much for Christmas, though. I got, uh, let's see. I got Super Mario Land 3D. That's a fun game. I'm trying to play that more often. Still in the first world, though, so I haven't done much with it. Uh... I have Eli would move down here. And then, uh... 
I'm gonna go ahead and have Yora stay over here. And Lucius, you're gonna come down over here. Wait. Dart, you're gonna move as well. And Will, you're gonna move. And I think that'll be it. So yeah, still in World 1 of Super Mario, or Super Mario 3D Land. Uh, I got some Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I got a couple of the, uh, okay, check this out. One-shot kill that bandit. Get used to that. He's gonna start one-shot killing everybody. Well, not everybody, but quite a lot of people. He's gonna end up dodging everything, that or not taking any damage from it. And if he doesn't one-shot somebody, he's gonna attack twice and kill them. So basically, Pence a butt-kicking machine. No, Kent's the butt-kicking machine, but Pence is just like a... I don't know, I need a new nickname for Pence and I can't think of one. Uh, I'll come up with one somehow, but... As for now, you're gonna attack darts and I can't do nothing about it. Thanks a lot there, mage. Oh, Archer. But hey, guess what? You missed. I'm telling you, man, Pent just kicks butts. It's just like, Pwah! I'm wasting all these mages and wasting everybody and... Jeez. Mages are doing damage for everybody. It's like Gifted the Magi. Well, guess what? We're here to kill you. Kind of annoying there, mage. Start killing off everybody. Now they're phase. Now Pent's gonna actively kill people by using thunder. And he's gonna critical hit by doing it. You can do magic. Oh, what's this? Sandstorm. And somebody's there. Well, who is that guy? Magic. I can't get to him. I wonder if I can attack that mage. Well, I can attack the mage. Well, I won't kill it, though. Uh... I got an idea. Let's go ahead and have Will, from right there, attack with a longbow, do some damage to that mage, because that mage can't hurt Will, because it can't, it's out of range. I love being able to do that. And then Eli Wood, you're going to come over here and finish him off with the rapier. Shank. And you die. Eli Wood, level up. Strength, skill, and resistance, and speed increase. Alright. Urk, you are going to attack this guy with thunder. And not do very much. Alright. What if you were to attack that guy with thunder? It would be the exact same situation. Not very much. So, I'm going to go ahead and attack this guy with thunder. Bring on the thunder! Haha, <laughs> I do way more damage than you did. But anyway, I level up for Urk. Level 11 HP, skill, and resistance increase. So back to what I was saying. I got a, uh... I got, um... The Dark World Structure Deck, finally. Yeah, a couple copies of those, so I can make myself a decent Dark World deck. Of course, it still needs work. Uh, need to get some essentials for it, like, uh, uh, Dark Necrofear. Uh, you need to get out of there. Facts. You're gonna come over here, use Mend on this guy. Uh, you probably noticed I'm using Sarah. The reason I'm using Sarah is because mounted units would be bad. And so, since mounted units are bad, I'm using Sarah, who is not a mounted unit. And I can't attack that guy, so I'm gonna come over here. And wait. Uh, that mage needs to die. How do I kill that mage? That's a good question. Let's use a steel lance. Uh, still be alive. 
So how about we use Kness and kill him? Or at least do damage. Attack using Flux. Yeah, there we go, we do some damage. And... You missed. Good job there, Kness. They say ain't calling you cannabis. Alright, let's go ahead and attack using an Iron Lance. And one, two, three, shake. You die. Heath levels up. Not levels up, but he gains more experience. Uh, we got some more enemies over there. Plus we got that huge freaking guy, Jasmine, which I still don't think is a guy, but... Or maybe he is a guy, I don't know. I can't tell. Got the Guiding Ring, Hand Axe, and Steel Axe, and we got Paul, who has a Killer Axe, which is very, very bad to you. well... It's very bad for us that he's using it, but it's a very good weapon to use. Uh, we need to get over to Hawkeye, but can't get over there yet. So, we're going to continue on, I guess. Actually, we're going to move on up as well. Move on up, move on up. Okay, let's end. We are attacking Pent. Well, at least you have the weapon triangle advantage, but it's not something I recommend doing. But he actually damaged it. I'll give you that much. Pent kills him off. Attacking my fighter. Well, crap. Should have probably equipped a hand axe. Attacking Will. Uh, that's actually very smart. Twice. Okay. Attacking Pent. Well, that's never a good idea, especially when he can't do anything and you have a low hit percentage. And when he does a critical hit on you, that's even worse. Let's see, 21 times 3, that's 63. Other phase. Now he's actively killing people. Fire! Hey, fire! Fire! Hey, fire! Woo, fire! More enemies appear. Eli Wood, head over here. Go ahead and talk to this guy. Who are you? I'm Hawkeye, Defender of the Desert. Defender of the Desert? I will drive out the bandits. Guests need not fight. Please wait, guests. Hawkeye now becomes one of our units. Guess what Hawkeye has? A killer axe. And he has 50 HP. This guy is a berserker. This guy is a freaking crazy killing machine. If you don't believe me, just wait until... Well, hang on. Let's go have Sarah heal him. I don't need men, I need to heal. Eh, didn't do the job, but it's close enough. Alright, let's go ahead and get out of the way of that so I can use my longbow and go whoosh! Whoosh! And you die. And well levels up. HP, strength, skill increase. It's not too bad. Uh, now what do we do? It's like, what do we do now? That guy can attack twice. Need to go... that way. Use a Vulnary. Mr. Knass, you're gonna come over here. You're gonna attack using Flux. Maybe Nosferatu. Uh, flux. Yeah, why not? And you die. Not really. However, I take damage. Uh, Heath, you want to get the honors over here and shank this guy to death? I'm killing you. And Heath levels up. Low Light Wyvern Raider. Strength and speed increase. Sounds about I guess. Hector, I guess you can move forward. Everybody else? Uh. I'm gonna see how good Lucius can do against this guy. 
Well, he has a steel axe equipped, so he can't do any damage. Or actually, the good guy. Actually, he has a hand axe now that I think about it. So, we want Hawkeye to take care of Jasmine. I'm gonna go ahead and have Lucius move up here. Along with Urk. And I'm gonna have you. No, you can't do nothing. Have you move up here. Eventually help out. And who all is left? Somebody's gotta be left. Obviously, it would have been in my turn if somebody was left. Oh. Uh, Fiora. And. Wyvern Rider. Attacking Pent. You missed. However, Pent does not miss. Pent is just killing off everybody. And now he's actively killing off everybody. Attacking twice. Well, Pent has kind of the same problem that uh, Lucius does. He doesn't know how to time his critical hits correctly. Flare phase. Hawkeye. You're gonna move up over here eventually, but... Fight the guy eventually, but not right now. Because... Herc. You're gonna come up over... Where's Paul? There he is. Lucius, move this way as far as you can go. Yeah, you got shiny clips. Let's go ahead and wait. Ganass. Uh, let's go ahead and wait there. Erk. Move over as far as you can go. Will, you're gonna move over here as far as you can go. Sarah's gonna chill out over here, I guess. No. She's good. She's good where she's at. Everybody else. Gonna chill. Ah, uh, crap. Dang it! I gotta start over. Bunghole. Alright, everybody. And I'm back. I guess I'm pretty much where I was before. Uh, same enemies have been killed. I moved Urk over there, so that way we get killed by the hand axe. Dart, I'm gonna kinda move over this way. Uh, I'm gonna have Lucius head over here, away from Jasmine, of course. I'm gonna have Dorcas move over here. Well, yeah. And Hector, I'm gonna kind of move over here. Sarah, you're gonna get out of there. Lord only knows what may happen. Let's go ahead and end. Attacking Pent? Well, guess what? You actually did damage. Congratulations. But however, you only have one HP left. Nope, scratch that. You're dead. You die. You fight, you die. Oh, guess what? I fight. You live. Nope, just kidding. You die. You thought Pent was gonna let you live. If you thought that, you're insane. Haha, <laughs> insane. Alright, Eli Wood, you're gonna head over here. Get out of there. Alright, we have Hawkeye. Mr. Hawkeye, we meet again. Darts. I guess you're getting ready to take on Jasmine, and we're gonna get ready to take on Paul. Paul cannot do indirect combat. Therefore, we got a whole bunch of indirect combat people over here ready to do indirect combat against Paul. So, Lucius. Let's see, Kanas can't get over there, so let's move him closer so that way he can. Uh, you can get over there. Dorcas, you cannot. Let's move you. And we're gonna get you guys ready to go eventually. Herc, you're gonna move up here to join them. 
as is Will. And we're gonna go ahead and end. Attacking Pence! That is some of the worst hit things ever. I can't remember if it was on this game or Radiant Dawn where I saw the worst hit percentage ever. Five hit... Five percent chance of actually hitting. Or you're just gonna take on Paul for me there, Pence. But my goodness, Pence didn't kill anybody. Well, that's amazing. Uh, yeah. Uh, Kanas, you wanna handle that? Let's see if you can. Flux. Nope. Have a Nosferatu. Yep. And you're gonna gain HP in the process. May as well. Paul has been defeated. I can't believe we lost a brother. Yeah. Ah, it's a tragedy, Jasmine. I can't do my spot thrusts. No. Goodness. Level up. HP, magic, luck, and resistance increase. That's not too bad. Sweet spot thrust. Jorgen Schmorgen Schmack. Okay, that is a really annoying thing to do. Uh, Hawkeye. Yeah, charge forward. Wait. You, or Hector, you're gonna be right behind him, I guess. In spirit. Eli Wood, you're gonna move over here. Go ahead and wait. You're gonna go ahead and heal Eli Wood because, well, he needs it. forward. Lucius, you could attack him, but might be able to attack him back. So, uh, 13, can't do much, so let's move you over here. You, of course, could attack him. You know, attack him from there with a javelin, do 8, so in total that would be 21 damage out of 46. And darts can't do much either, so. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and end. You missed. Wyvern Rider, riding forward. Other Wyvern Rider, gonna get killed by Pence. Why? Because you missed. Epic kill shots. Attacking Kanas. For some reason I'm... Oh yeah, duh, because I used Nosferatu last. Is that a critical? Uh... Yeah, I think that counts as a critical. I'll have to look at that in editing and see if it does, but... Other phase. One shot. Kill all my enemies before I can kill them there, Pence. Alright, Hawkeye. You ready to do this? 21 damage. 46% hit chance. If that hits him with a critical hit, he's dead. Uh, dude. That's a critical hit. I just one shot at a guy that had 46 HP. I got hit, but it feels so good, yeah. These people are too strong for it. Yeah. Swap thrusts. Okay, gaining a lot of experience. Alright, we have one enemy left. And I'm bound and determined not to have Pence kill him off. So, is that gonna happen? Probably not. Unless, Ganas, Nosferatu, nope. How about Flex? Nope. Go ahead and use Flux anyway. Why? Because I don't want you attacking twice. Wham! You missed. You missed there, brother! That was my Hulk Hogan impression for some reason, but why? I don't know. Uh, yeah. Weapon Rider to the rescue. Wait, how much HP do you got? 
Never mind. Weapon rider not to the rescue. Monk to the rescue. Go, Moroku. No, I'm just kidding. Let's go and end. Bandit. Gains health. Bandit. Attacks Lucius. Bad idea, dude. No damage. Lucius may not be as epic as Pent, but he's pretty close. Lucius is gonna be an epic whatever the crap he evolves into. Whenever he evolves at level 20. You really helped me out. Thank you. We couldn't watch you such a lopsided battle, that's all. So I become... Lopsided battle? Dude, did you not notice that he was killing everybody in almost one shot? And if not, two-shotting them? So why have you come to this wasteland? Well, we were told to come here and meet a living legend. Living legend? Ha ha ha. I see. That's well said. But do you know what it means? Yes, I suppose I do. Looks like we share a common destination. Hawkeye, you here too? Vent, did you find it? That I did. And as I thought, it's spectacular. It's getting dark. Let's go back. Yes, let's make haste. Desert nights are treacherous. Oh, okay. Meanwhile... I've wrought them. Welcome, children of Roland. We come from Lycee, old man. Do you understand? What do you mean? I think I know. Thousands of years ago, man and dragon fought on this continent. Yes, mankind won and the dragons fled this world. That's correct. Man against dragon, the war that we know as the Scouring. And you know of the eight legends, heroes who led the men to victory? Yes, we've all heard the stories of the eight legends. I was raised in Sakai, so I know of Hanan, the horseman. Sakai is where Hanan was born. Our country, Lycia, was founded by the hero Roland. That's why he called us children of Roland, right? That is correct. Or that is correct, daughter of Hanan and Roland. Who are you? I am Athos. Many choose simply to call me an Arcsage. Athos? It can't be. Huh? What? Arcsage Athos is one of those eight legends. If you really were him, old man, you'd have to be over a thousand years old. The world is full of mysteries. So if one and then along comes another. Before I knew it, I had to go distance from my fellow man. Hunger, it knows no bounds. A thousand years, that's a long time. Yet, thanks to such longevity, we're meeting here today. Living legend, now I see it. You're here because you want to stop Nergal, aren't you? Yes, did you receive word from Marquez Astia? No, I am aware of most things that occur on the continent. However, knowledge is not enough for me to prevent disaster. Nell said something similar to that before. With my special power, I can sense danger coming, but I can't do anything to stop it. Nils, one of the children of destiny. He's here with us, but something outside caught his attention. I'm sure something stopped him. Hmm? Let's talk about Nergal. How do we stop him? Yes, what can you tell us? What wisdom can you share? Hmm, your foe, like me, no longer altogether human. It will be difficult to slay him, though, traditional means. He wields a terrible power. His endless strength sinks from an ancient forbidden magic. To defeat him, you will need a suitable response. Response? While he is resting, you must find the power to oppose him. Tell us what it is. We'll do anything. It will be harder than you can imagine. Great trials await you, as does great despair. You may regret your decision. Will you stay the course, children? Our will remains fixed. This is a road from which you cannot turn back. We've known not all along. We can overcome anything. You'll see. So together, we are strong. Very well. Let me tell you what you must do. Have you understood all that you have heard? We didn't hear anything, old man. Yes. We are to seek out the Shrine of Seals and burn, right? Take Hawkeye with you, and his skills are to your own. Thank you. And you? What will you do, Pent and Louise? Nagal, a magic user, arrives as you, Lord Athos. And the return of the dragons. An intriguing story. Forgive the late introductions. I am Pent, Count Regle of Etruria. This is Louise, my wife. It's nice to meet you. Count Regley? Are you Count Re You are Count Regley? 
Who, is he someone special? Yes, he hails from the most prominent noble house of Etruria. He is known as the Magic General. What has brought you to this place? Burn's successor will soon have his coming-of-age ceremony. Pence and Louise are to attend as representatives of Etruria. Pence claimed there is time to search the desert for a magical artifact said to have been lost in the sands here long ago. You arrived shortly after we did. Perhaps something was guiding you. Bowing to the dictates of fate, my wife and I would like to join you if we may. Well, of course. That's fine, right, Elywood? Will you send word of your mission to your countrymen? There's no reason to, and if we did, who would believe us? Besides, it's not unusual for us to remain absent for long periods of time. I doubt anyone would be surprised by our absence, right, my dear? <laughs> You're right, my love. Not unlike a certain young noble we've heard of. That's great, thanks a lot. Oh gee, I wonder who that could be. In any event, we welcome you both into our hearts. Or with all our hearts. Thank you. There's not much time. I'll send you to Lycia. Okay, gather everyone here in the plaza. You are Michael, correct? Indeed. I am Sir Madame the Fourth. Fate blows a strange wind in your direction. Much rides on your shoulders and in your abilities. I want you to take this. It enhances natural ability skills with one which was born. Give this to whomever you feel will benefit the most. Do not waste its powers holding onto it. Use it. A fuzz drops? What does that do? Everyone is here. Thank you. Elywood, your territory is the closest to Burn, is it not? Yes, the border lies in the mountains. Very good. Now please envision a nice wide place in Foray. Next, think of the name of a person you might meet there. As you say. Now, children of Roland, it is time to say farewell. You must reach the Shrine of Seals. There, your destiny's doors will open wide before you. Infrared. My beloved, I cannot believe you are gone. Every time I close my eyes, I see you at my side. Your memory haunts me, and I am filled with sorrow. Albert, if by some chance you can hear my prayer, please look after our son. Mother? What? Eli, what, where, where are you? Mother, I'm home. I've returned. Ah, Eli, what, it really is you. Oh, how did you... You startled me so. Forgive me, Mother. The Ark Sage sent us. You look so tired. Have you lost weight? Oh, come closer and let me see your face. Mother, about Father. I heard his last moments were glorious. Though he's gone, he will ever be my life's joy. I know. Come, let us make everyone comfortable. Ah, excuse me. You all look in need of rest. I'm sorry, Mother. We must hurry onward. I know that. But for one night, here in the castle. Eli would, just for tonight. Mother. One night's not going to hurt us. Who knows when we'll be back this way. Yes, let's do it. I'm so exhausted. Hector. Lynn. Thank you. Hello, Michael. You're still awake? I suppose. Michael, do you know Burn well? Uh, no. This is a blind let's play. No, nor do I. Nothing more than I've heard of the courts. I'm sure that with all your troubles, you know more than I. Uh, not really. As I mentioned, this is a blind let's play. By the way, Michael, where were you born? I was born in a little state called Kansas. Before you met Lindis and Sakai, where were you? Uh... Kansas? It is difficult to speak about. You needn't worry. It's just that we've been together for so long. <clears throat> and I really know almost nothing about you. Well, that's because you don't exist. If you don't mind, won't you tell me a little about yourself? I would like to learn more about you and your life. Well, that's that. Eli Wood trying to pry into my business and about to get his mind blown by the fact that he does not exist. But besides that, we're going to end things here. This has been Some Random Dude the Fourth, and this is me saying see you later, and God bless.